Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brianna Motzkus, and today is our Wednesday box opening. Hey, hello, welcome. So if you are new here, uh, we are a mother-daughter duo. We have a large quilt shop. We have the largest quilt shop in Washington State. Yeah. We have um, about 12,000 bolts of fabric and 5,000 square feet. And uh, we have our YouTube channel where we do Faber Chat, mm -hmm. which is just sort of having coffee with friends every Wednesday morning. And we have a book club. Yeah, that was pretty fun. fun. That was pretty fun. We have tutorials. Um, we do quilting cruises, so you see videos on that. And twice a week we do box opening, where we open the newest things that have just come in, mm -hmm. fresh off the truck, and we let you see the brand new things that come into the store. You can find everything on fabricpatch.net, um, or if you come see us, we are, of course, in Ephrata, Washington Center, most part of Washington State, and we have a retreat center um, up in Soap Lake, two of them, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, we're going to get right to box opening because we're going to take you on a little tour later. Yeah, we're going to go do some touring. Hopping around. Just a little bit. Yes. We have been kind of remodeling and um, moving things around and putting in new carpet and doing some stuff. And you guys have seen some smatterings of things. Um, and we, there's still so much to do because it's like Jenga. You oh, know, it you is. move one thing and then you move something else. And yeah. it drives everybody crazy because it's like, oh, wait. That doesn't really fit there. Now let's move it again. So we move it someplace <laughs> else. And, but pretty soon it'll all be good and um, everything will fit properly. But I think the other reason is because things change. Yeah, it does. You know, sometimes we have massive amounts of Christmas stuff and we have a Christmas room. And other times we have massive amounts of mm -hmm. something else. So things do get kind of moved around yeah. a little bit. And sometimes for some customers, they get a little irritated. It's like, oh, now I don't know where it is. Well, that's the point. Yeah, now you have to look. We at want it. you to go wander and see something different. Yes, yes, we want you to see it. It's not like the grocery store. We're not always going to find the milk in the very back corner. Mm -mm. The vegetables are always going to be in the same spot. It's just, yes, you know. Yes. And the other thing too with us, the reason that it changes so much is because our inventory changes. That's true. We we have very little stuff that is very old at all. Yeah, like our you know, notion wall is always going to be where it is because yeah. those are our yeah. Yeah, but everything else, the fabric changes all absolutely the all the time. All right, so it looks like we got a box of notions, a few, all yeah. kinds of things uh, bothering the dog. Uh, so sticky fabric solvy. This is the stuff um, that we use to stabilize Minky. So what this is is it is a sticky interfacing that dissolves in water. So what we do is we take this and we just cut it in little strips and we put it on that super stretchy side of Minky and um, and then we sew it the way that we normally would. You would never even know that it's there, but it doesn't slip, it doesn't stretch, it doesn't do anything weird. And the very first time that you wash the quilt, it will wash right out of it. We put it on the wrong side. We don't do anything weird with it, but um, we yeah. love, love, love this stuff. It's like, what, seven, eight, yeah, seven eight, bucks a yard. Eight, yeah. You can get it in a one yard package or we actually have it on the bolt also. So we go through a lot of this. Yes. And then more of our little ladybugs. Uh, we just we sell these Ladybug a lot. vacuums, yeah. Ladybug, uh, we use it in the shop all the time whenever we're cutting minky again or anything else where there's lots of bits and pieces and threads everywhere. Uh, some people use it for their desk to clean out oh. their uh, keyboard. keyboard. Yeah. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> That's where all my popcorn bits fall. Yeah. <laughs> you guess shaking it uh, out. Yeah. Um, the three in one needle thread. This is really cool because, all right, all right. So, this has been a question big time because some of you may or may not know that all over Indonesia, I don't know how many times we got on a plane, off of a plane, did whatever, flying all the way over there, all the way back. The very last little leg of me flying back. They took my teeny tiny little pair of scissors, uh -huh. which if you are doing stitching, you have to something. have scissors. I mean, you can't really gnaw it. There isn't anything you can do. And so I thought, why did, and I, you know, and I think I told this story before. Turkey said, all over. Oh my gosh. Everybody else took it. I'm on my way home. Why do you care? And she says, I don't care. And she didn't care. She's taking she the scissors anyway. <laughs> and do whatever you want. You're not leaving with your scissors. So... 
I mean, you can't really argue with those people. But yeah. anyways, so um, people that are flying over for the retreats, they keep asking. It's like, I don't know. It's, you know, if you are only going to do a carry-on, don't take anything you don't want taken. I'm going to say that U.S. is pretty good about it. I got all kinds of stuff in my U.S. bags and nobody ever takes them. But yeah. um, but I probably wouldn't risk it anyway. So I've told everybody I have stuff for you to borrow. Don't even worry about it. I'm not yeah. going to make you rebuy something. I have a million things. But... This is cool. So yes. it's three different needle threaders. So for a big Can honking, you see the, you guys see that? See the for threaded one on big the Big honking needle for a little bit smaller, not like a little teeny tiny one. This is gonna be for your teeny tiny, like your yeah. um, embroidery needles or your quilting needles. Is gonna be that one. But the coolest thing on the bottom, there is a tiny little rotary cutter in there to slip and cut your threads. Whether it's no gonna take that, yeah. So if you're English paper piecing, if you're embroidering, if you're, heck, you're chain piecing and you just want something to cut apart all the little chain threads in your sewing room. So really, really cool. The only thing it doesn't have, it doesn't have like a cover, a little sheath to protect your little yeah. filament up there. But I think it's really nice. It's really, you know, size of my palm, but you've got everything, all three sizes of needles, field of thread and the built-in cutter. Uh, how many do you have in there? I don't think we have enough, enough of these. I think I've got like a dozen. Okay, we'll order more. I have more but, on the way. Oh. But yeah, it's, I was super impressed. Because somebody was telling me afterwards, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, their stuff gets taken all of the time. And they said to take a um, dental floss. Oh, yeah, that has a cutter on it. Is that a strong enough cutter? I had the same question. I thought, oh, I wondered. But I also have one of those pendants. You know? Oh yeah, I'll show you that one. The pendant is yeah. so pretty. The pendant is super pretty and it kind of looks like that. Like a piece of you know. And we've whined about this before and that's all it is is whining. I totally know. But <laughs> but taking your knitting, knitting needles and you take those Addy Turbo circular knitting needles, there's bigger problems there. See like a pretty Oh, you can kill somebody. String so fast that with and that. a beautiful little chain and there's actually a rotary cutter in there. And it's there. really pretty. So you can just cut your threads. And you take it off anyway because they know, right, that it's going to be all metal. Yeah. I ain't going to know no better. It's so cute. It's really cute. Clover. Yeah. It's about the base. Yeah. I'm getting one of those too. Adorable. Yeah. So, anyways. Don't take a scissors. Just take a pendant or a duty bob. A duty bob. Duty bab. He's a three. <laughs> the UK people wonder what that is. They're looking that up right now. <laughs> duty bab. It's a Brianna is. We're not going to find it anywhere. A duty bob. <laughs> Similar oh, yeah. to a doohickey. It's a doohickey cousin. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And then these, this was because we ran out in the store. This is yeah. just an old book that is just so popular. We've made just about all of the samples yep. out of this book. So if you go in the Christmas room, you see this. But it's just adorable. There's I really um, art to I heart. Art to heart. Yeah. She's got just classic stuff. Um, and uh, it's all fusible applique. So just trace it yeah. onto your fusible web. Uh, your steam machine to press it down, do a little bit of stitching. Super cute. And it's really nice about yeah. Art to Heart is she's got everything reversed and full size for you. Yeah. So unless you're going to do something different. And she does have on her website, um, you have to have purchased the book uh, and then there's some way to bring it up. She has it like separated now in files so that if you have a Cricut, Oh, and the SVG you have your cut, files. SVG, the cut files. which stands for Cut It With My Cutter. Um, you can download that, and it can be done. But, yeah, she's she's clever, but just really good books. And she doesn't have just Christmas. She has a lot of Christmas stuff. She's a, you know, Christmas Yeah, girl. but it's all sorts of These stuff. are all, yeah. Yeah, but she has. These happen to be Christmas at the moment, but she's got spring, Our fall, heart is Halloween. Really good. All right, that's yeah. all that was in there. That was it. Awesome. Okay, bye. And then we got some big boxes. Yes. We do have some little boxes that I can't tell you what's in here. I know. Do you know what's in here? These are presents. Fair enough. Who's it from? It's from me. I ordered it and bought it because I'm going, Tracy and I are going oh, to do goodness. some little giftesses. Giftesses? We don't want them to see it. Oh. You I can. can't either. You get to see it. It's for Earth Day. <laughs> Ooh, Earth Day. Earth Day's coming up. So maybe some seeds? April to... Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. When I think of Earth Day, I think of flowers. I think you're supposed to up. plant a tree. You're supposed to not use any more death water. Death water. Those plastic water bottles. Yeah. They're the bane of my existence. 
I do not like them. You tell everybody when they come to the retreat center, don't bring your death water. Bring your refillable. Refillable. I think those, all those little plastic bottles. I don't like them. So this is North. This is obviously Northcott. This is super gorgeous. Look at that coral piece. Oh, wow. Ooh, look at that. That's a big old turtle right there. Oh, that is a big old turtle. I don't know if that's is a that panel a or yardage. Or I don't know. I can't tell. Um, I've got two boxes of this gorgeousness. It's called Sea Breeze. North Cot ocean stuff is so recognizable. Mm -hmm. and the I bet that crystal colors layer look. cake pre-cuts that we got a couple weeks ago would go with this. Maybe a little purpley. Oh, was there, oh it's running yard. Gosh, I love it when they do running yardage. Love it. Okay, right. we'll be right, right back. Work. All right, as usual, Northcott. Oh, they do such Lovely. a nice, nice, nice yeah, job. Yeah, they do. So they, um, and I feel like they're really known for their wildlife stuff and their sea stuff. Right. I mean, it's just so realistic and the way that they do their colors and mm -hmm. they have kind of similar textures where you've seen it before, you've seen their coral texture before, you've seen their yeah. Nautilus texture before, um, you know, they do that, but they just recolor it just a little bit. But what's mm -hmm. kind of nice is that I think that some of the other stuff that you have that's been Northcott, if you have some of that stuff yeah. left over, we'll blend in you really could well. throw it in with Absolutely. that. Because the pattern that came with this, um, is this particular one. This is what they're featuring. And so you can see that um, this is what we're gonna show you here in a second is the that's actually running yardage in the inside, which is really, really nice. We love that, that you're not limited by that cut line. And then we'll also put the back on and you can see um, all of those little pieces, you know, for the um, floating squares, you could use other stuff. I mean, they've got a lot of fabric. And the other thing that they picked was this one here. You'll see this, I think they're calling it shore, shore ombre. Uh, beach ombre. Beach ombre. Um, you could put something else there if you wanted to, because I think that piece is going to sell out super, super fast just in case. But anyway, it's nice to have patterns that are kind of go-to patterns that feature, you know, kind of a focus center. Are you going to stay on that side? I'm going to show them this first and then we'll hold up this afterwards or? Oh yeah, we can show it at the end. I didn't even think about oh, it. Oh, okay. Now that you're over there. Okay. These two will hold up. But it's beautiful. It's teeny tiny. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen pieces and a panel. So um, one of the, they do this fairly often. I love their script um, because I think it's so pretty. They, um, just all of the little ombre color and it's um yeah and their font choices i think they yeah, do a good job with their I love the font choices here's their coral sort of typical they do this print quite a bit um this is beautiful so rich with all that dark blue and a little bit of green a little bit of light blue in there really really nice here's another one Kind of typical for them and uh, this they have in two colors in this bright blue and then also in this kind of sea foam kind of color which is beautiful and then this is a typical one for them do they call it rain what do they or pebble i don't know what sea they call glass them. Do they call it sea glass? Mm -hmm. Sea glass. Mm -hmm. Sea glass. Yeah, this is a typical texture for them. You'll see this in lots of different colors, but just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All of those little colors are in there. And then this one is a little shell. What a great texture. Wow. Really nice. Has a really nice background. So this is just kind of a tone on tone. And then they also did it in this blue, which is beautiful little bit of that kind of sea foam green and the blue a couple colors of blue and then oh I love this one this is that same one the coral so pretty there's kind of a lot going on in that one really nice texture and the turtles turtles are great turtles are really popular really nice turtle toss I think fairly directional. They yeah. seem to all be kind of going in one direction. Which makes sense. Hey, sure. I don't think a turtle's going to be floating. I don't think so. Oh, I don't think she gets I don't want to talk about that. And then um, another sea glass in the blues. And see the difference with the colors. Yeah, this one has quite a bit more green in it. And then, oh, here's another one of these coral ones. 
So this one has a little bit more of the blue-green. The other one was very dark, dark blue. One more. No, this is different. Yeah, different seashells. Oh, shells. it's seashells. Oh. Boy, real. I don't know that. Have we seen this one before? I don't know if we have. Mm. I like this one. And then here it is again. In blues. Beautiful. So beautiful. And then you should come and we should hold this up together. Hold the panels. Yep. Yeah, because there's two of um, kind of running yardage that you need to see <coughs> and a panel. So they oftentimes, and we're going to show you a couple other little things, but um, they often do this bag panel. The bag panel is really, really nice. Oh, is that upside down? This is what it makes. There's the finished yep. bag. Just a quick tote bag. Super fast. And it's made out of, it's that um, canvas um, uh, um, combo. So it's 15% linen, 85% cotton. So it's a uh, heavyweight cotton. Washes and dries just like cotton. I mean, it mm -hmm. just has a little bit more texture so that if you really don't want to line it or you really don't want to add any um, soft and stay or anything like that, you just want a really fast beach bag, it will go together in less than an hour. Um, it does come with um, all of the directions down there. They do a really, really nice job. Mm -hmm. We only got one bolt of it, so there's maybe about what, probably maybe 15? Yes. Of them, not very many. So we run out of that quickly. So this one is the first running yardage. This is also the center of that quilt pattern. Did we just unroll enough of it? I think so. There we go. Oh, that's so cool! I love this. Um, and it is only 42 inches wide. So so you're 42 this way, but then depending upon... So if you get a yard and a quarter, you would end up with, you know, All a your square turtles. of it. Mm -hmm. But Fantastic. Fantastic. Just that and some borders, frankly. And then yeah. this is the one that they're calling, what, shore ombre? Um, beach. <sighs> beach ombre. Beach ombre. This is the one we're going to run out probably the fastest. Yeah. Um, we didn't get because mega bolts on these, but we also got, this is the shortest one we got. That seems like that's not fair. I know. Not fair. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's kind of whiny today. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this one's all about water. And then as you get to the beach, um, you've got your big honking seashells. Can I see the shells at the bottom? I don't know if they can. There you go. Can you see them there? But again, I mean, it makes a really cool little border treatment they did on the pattern, but you wouldn't have to use something like this for the outer border. Because what's funny want. is this is the piece that they use. So we were talking about this. Um, so they put the the bottom right here, and then they put the the top here, and then they put the middle pieces there. So I don't know. I mean... If we run out of that, you could put any any number of beautiful prints there. It wouldn't make any you difference. You could even use more turtles. You absolutely could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of a cool pattern. And then we went back and got, let me just show you this. Um, this is, there's very little left of this line. Oh, and um, mom also went and grabbed that crystal pre-cut I was talking about. It does it's, not. It's very pink and purple. Mm -hmm. I mean, the blues look good with it, but the pink and purple, and eh, not so much. No. You might be able to pick and choose some. But this was the line, um, this was the last Northcott Ocean line, and there's not very much of it left. What was it called? Can you see? I don't know. Uh, whale Song. Whale Song. So you can see that it's that same coral piece. It's that same shell piece. You can see some of those. And you can see where this really... You know, if you had some of this at home or you wanted to add another color, you know, it would be kind of cool. Yeah. You could definitely, good. yeah. You could definitely put that in. There's not very so many of them left. I'm going to stick few. these because there's a few other collections in here that's not all whale song. I don't think oh, it's so. not? Um, but I will stick these six pieces in with the collection. They'll just be the bottom. You'll see all of the sea breeze first, and then you will see these if you want to add some extra color. Yeah. But yeah, they match really, really nicely. All right, and then we did have a few of these. Not very many, but a couple, which I don't know why we have very many. You know, it always makes us wonder when we see, you know, because um, we typically empty enough boxes that there's about maybe three 
lines um, mm-hmm. uh, and usually some extra stuff. And there's always something that just blows out and all of it is gone. Um, and sometimes there's other stuff left over. So I think this was the first time in the history of the Northcott bags that we had any left. left. So we have a couple of these. So just in case these sell out quickly or if you want something a little bit different, this one has uh, the orcas. Mm-hmm. And it. that one's not the canvas blend. That is just a good old cotton. Oh, you're right. Mm-hmm. Cute, oh. though. Really cute. Yep, I like it. All right, so uh, after we moved everything, right? So we moved everything. We were filming here. Everybody missed Tracy. Okay, okay they're probably wondering. Um, Where's hey. Tracy? Yeah. Where's Tracy? She took so, the day off. She took the day off. <laughs> She's not here today, uh, so there's no, and we have trashed her table yeah. with all of our stuff on it, so we're back to our old spot, but she is not here today. She is super excited because her mixed media retreat is coming up yeah. the end of May, the weekend right after Memorial Day weekend. I don't know if she has any spots left now. I don't think she does, and I also don't think that she has any spots For the in the class. Boro class. So she is just, um, she's home working on some samples, working on some kits. Doing uh, some prepping. Those, doing some Prepping. Those Boro kits are going out, um, I think we said by May 1st. I think she's going to send them a little bit sooner than yeah. that. So that's what she's doing today. And she's doing it at home so she can spread out and yeah. be with the dogs in her jammies that we tease her about all the time. Yeah. So she's not here. So, uh, so you're that's not right, missing her. her. You're missing the mess that we've made on her table. Yes. So. We're back here. Um, and then I also want to start. I already oh, opened this box. Banner. But yes, it is the door banner for this month. Um, it is called Patriot Dreams. So again, mm. they do a really good job about giving you a couple months to make Get the banner done. so that when July comes, you're able to hang it up and show it off. So really cool. 20 by 36. Mm. Again, they're showing it on a door, but you can hang it in your house. Yeah. You can put it as a I table mat. You can do anything you want. Those assisted living facilities, you know. Yeah, make it really the door. Special. Yeah, yeah. For mom's apartment. Um, and do you have everything you need in here? Yeah. Um, I think except for backing, I think is the only thing they don't have in here. But you have binding and everything else. These cute um, little boxes. In a cute little magnetic box. And yeah, everything's in there. And a full. Oh, I just destroyed full that. Color but pattern. full color pattern, which is also very nice. You guys are screaming. Wait, listen. Can you hear that? It's the preschool next door. Them girls. Next Makes door. me so nuts. So nuts. Yeah. Our, I always our, have to go look. Because my kids know that it's because you're bleeding. Bleeding. You've lost a limb. Something, you know, it's someone's dying. Yeah. That's it's a scream. family rule. Yes. Those uh, girls. Also, the only way to get these patterns is mm. through these kits. Um, Briley Blake does not sell them separately. And when we are sold out, we are sold out. Um, they are specially curated from Riley Blake. So... That's the I'm going to tell those little girls, you know, there's an Easter egg still hidden over there. That every time, Lil, uh, every time Lizzie and I go out to go potty, well, Lizzie's going potty, I'm just going out with her, um, we see it. You see an Easter egg every time? Someone missed one? If I were nimble enough to hop the fence and get it, I would. I'm sure there's <laughs> candy in there. It's melted now. Say. You don't want it. I don't know. It depends on how... Uh, mm-hmm. Did you mention this too? Was I just yakking? Did you mention this? No, I didn't. We also got a box of, uh, we got some other battings in the store, and um, but uh, we should mention we got some Insulbrite. So people ask a lot, did I get the right batting? So if you're doing the microwave bowl cozies where you are going to cook the batting and put it in the microwave, you need to use the Warm 100, which is 100% cotton, no polyester, so it will not be set aflame. Um, the other thing to know, though, is... Uh, There is a rule. Do not just put it in the microwave and turn it on to see if it really works um, because it will catch on fire. You have to make sure something is in there. So, yeah, but it won't. I mean, we use them every day. I use them all the time. Yeah, and it doesn't catch on fire, but it has to be warm 100. This is Insulbrite. So it's the one that has the little, um, I don't know, Kevlar kind of tinfoil. It's tin insulated to protect your hand from hot yeah. or your tabletop from hot. So, yeah. yeah. So oven mitts. Table runners. Trivets. Table runners. I put them in all table runners now because then when you've got that sitting on your table and you want to bring over Excuse your me. casseroles. Yes. yes. Oh, all right. I, I know I recognize these is. houses. Karen. This is Karen Walker's. Karen Walker, our bestie yeah. from... Hillsboro, Oregon. Yes. She was up here. Gosh, it's been about a year, a little over a year, not yeah. quite a year. 
Um, in fact, I wonder if we can, can you link that so it will show next? Yeah, her. Uh, we have a big show and tell, and yeah. I think she even sneak peeks this fabric for us. I think she does. Um, it's called Huckleberry Salt Box. This is how long we have to wait for right? fabric. Yeah, because she was here Yeah, last spring. Last um, Jane was with us. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. Summer. June. It was awesome. It was, June. it was awesome. And she showed us this. She was still doing like the last final touches and stuff. And then, yeah, we ordered the yeah. whole. So that's what's in there? Yeah, we the ordered whole, all of it. Yeah. It's, it's really, just a really, small really little nice. collection. Oh. So. But yeah, that's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to open up, uh, yeah. take all the plastic off, and then we'll show you up close. Yeah. Really okay. cute. Super, super cute. And interesting little side note. I looked out the window to make sure that really nobody was bleeding. And there were five adults. It's millennial moms. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> People my age. City kids. No screaming. City kids. No screaming. Every mother my age that is within like a two block radius is jittery right now. Right. But we've also talked about that you guys are just like hood rats. Just get out. We ta ta. Were. So if someone heard a kid screaming, they probably thought something was wrong. Someone has biffed it off their bike. Um, the dog is going after somebody. I mean, I don't know. My <laughs> guess is screaming at your hate. Your it was totally, totally different. different. We did not scream. No. Yeah. And like we usually we didn't even cry. You probably couldn't. Because who's gonna cry. help you? No one's gonna <laughs> help us. <laughs> oh. I saw a shirt. I really need to get it. It says Generation X, and then it says like nineteen. 64 or something and then it says survived on hose water and spankings <laughs> that's right that's right our parents line them up everyone's getting i mean our our neighbors could spank us Every, our teachers could spank us everyone could spank us spankings were a fact of life it wasn't this you know it wasn't a thing. Uh, Everyone got spankings. I feel like at least the principals should have to be able to threaten spankings. Because I think if there's a little bit more, oh, maybe kids wouldn't be such turd butts in school. Oh, no. If you were running in the grocery store, you would get a spanking. <laughs> but yeah. From, uh, you may or may not have known who it was who was beating you. <laughs> that lady mom right there, over there in that pew. Oh, and then you would get another one. And then you would get another one. Oh. Mrs. Simpson. Once you got one spanking, <laughs> you were for sure going to get one when you got home. That's funny. Yeah, I was like, please don't tell my mom. Please don't tell my mom. <laughs> Calling her right <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Such a different time. Different time. Different time. All right. We, All right, let's show this. And there's cute. only 11 of these, right? So we're going to yeah. do fat quarters and half yard cuts? I think so. I think it's really you should. cute. You should get a whole, yeah, a little, you know, bundle of them so that you could, because... A half yard with um, 11 pieces, you really could, depending upon the pattern, you could probably certainly do a queen with that. It's really, really nice. Really nice textures. Really good yeah, things. Really good color. Yeah. So let's see. Let's, um, I'm going to show you the house. Well, I'll show you the house first. Wait. Wait, right? Is it kind of directional? I guess yeah, I they kind are of feel like it is. Yeah. That is adorable. It's cute. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Really, really cute. So that's the main print. Everything main else print. is just going to be really pretty. Um, yeah. Coordinates. coordinates. So this is a really nice soft brown. And then there's some little, are those hearts? No, or flowers? No, hearts. Blubs. 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 And, oh, then, and then a little bit of um, uh, leaves, fronds, whatever, boughs, grass. And then this one. I love this one. Yeah, I do too. Very reproduction-ish. Pretty cool. Makes me think of Karen. Yeah. I love it. Oh, look at that. That's a good texture. Right? It's pretty. Yeah. And it's this red's a little bit brighter than everybody else, but it matches the bright red it does. berries. Yeah, it totally looks good together. That's great. You wouldn't want the same. Well, and that dark is kind of that dark. Mm -hmm. but. And then here again is the bloops. Now, wait, is that the same? Oh, no. Darker. So, yeah, see these two together. Yeah, there's the dark brown and then the light brown. Yeah. Actually, that's more of a medium. I would call that a medium brown and a light brown. And then some circles. Really nice. Good little buttons. Yeah, and some blue. Just simple, simple texture. Little quilt blocks. Cute. Mm-hmm. 
And then this is just a really nice, I mean, creamy it's basic. just a creamy basic. It's just kind of a weavy texture. So, yeah. And then, and then gosh, this is a fantastic piece. Has that same cream in there. Several browns. I feel like I could use that for a lot. And here it is in blue. And I don't know if you can see or not, but there really is a little check, a little line there. Blues, tans, and reds. And then this is fantastic. They're little nets. I like it. I think it's a laurel wreath. A wreath. Yeah. Really nice. All right. All right, Karen, super nice job. 11, right? 11 pieces? Through one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, because I'll put the house even uh, in your house cuts. also. Mm -hmm. Fat quarters and half yard cuts. Yes. Okay, we'll move this and then we have something special which will include a tour. In uh, the Kel Ke uh, Karen Walker's collection was also some poppy cotton stuff. Poppy cotton. I love poppy cotton. I mean, yeah. I have lots and lots of favorites, but this is one of my, you know, top, top there. Yeah, mm -hmm. top five. It's really cute. I love poppy cotton. It's just so nostalgic. You know, I just think that cute little girl dresses, cute little, I mean, it could be for a baby up to, I mean, I love it. I think, I think it's, it's really, just, yeah. It's very, very, very sweet. So we have a lot of, I don't know that we have a lot of poppy cotton. We have mix mash. You know, for the amount of fabric they put out, we've got like nothing. That's true. Um, That's true. We sell a bunch of it, but we have a bunch of, do we have a poppy cotton section? I do. Okay. So I have all the poppy cottons together because they all look together no matter how old or they all they look are. good. So yeah. these seven will be the first ones that you see and then you'll see everybody else that will coordinate with them. And then we'll take these out there so that you can see kind of up close and personal, see what they are. But um, this one, so uh, dragonflies. And butterflies, bless both worlds. And what is that? Uh, Just a, a different bug. type of a... Maybe a moth? I don't think Smaller it's a moth. butterfly. It looks like a flying ant. We're gonna. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. What? I'm gonna say it's a baby butterfly. That's what that is right there. And then some pretty little flowers. I love this. I love their little nostalgic y stuff. Yeah. I love their birds. And yeah, all of these colors, you know, these are the colors that are in the other ones um, that you'll see. They all go together. A really nice stripe. The sweetest little I love that tulip. One. This little heart shape. Oh, I think that one's great. Birds and ribbons. Oh, and look at the, look at the sun. Look at this sun. Oh, I love that. Yeah. It's really See, cute. that that is like a little 1940s bird. I just love that bird. And then just this really sweet pink. Really, really nice. Yeah, super cute. Okay, so we'll we'll take this out there. We'll go out there and we'll show you. Okay, so we're down here on our um, poppy cotton lane. And so there's a lot of stuff back here. And I don't know, are you going to move it in as we go? Or do you want me to start yeah. up in the beginning? No, I think I'll... Um, it might be a little shaky, guys. I took it off the stand. Okay. Because I'm going to grab this one just for a second. So this is the one that we just showed you. This one is the one with the birds on it that we just showed you. And look at this. So it's that same thing with all of these greens and stuff. Look at these same pieces that are all poppy cotton. I mean, they just look at that piece. They just all go together. It's that same color palette. All they do is they just sort of change up um, the design just a little bit, but the colors are all um, really, really nice. Um, and they all go together really well. Let's pop up here for a second, Kenya. And then same thing. So here we just have organized more of kind of the yellows. So these all came at different times, but it's the same thing when I put that up there. You can see that that yellow bird, it's just the same personality of fabric, the same style and the same color range. I'm gonna um, hold this up for a second and show you. This panel, I don't think there's a ton of these left. Um, and now it is only in panel format. I think that we had kept this because there wasn't a line, so you could do like two, but now, oops, am I upside down? Cute little blocks, and those are probably um, nine inch blocks, would be my guess. Cute little, it's that same, just little 
Yeah. 1930s bird. And then what is, I'm not sure that this one down here is poppy cotton. Is this Mulberry Lane? Maybe. I mean, maybe. It's a Riley Blake, so you can see the colors, but this is almost where this kind of has almost that 1930s vibe. This is almost more like 1950s. But um, super sweet. I'm going to show you this. I can't even remember what this panel looks like. And we don't have a ton of these left. But, oh, I do remember this. This is like a mini quilt. That is Cute. awesome. And this is 42 by uh, 36. This is a full yard. You could cut this up, but there's absolutely no reason to cut this up. Put a couple of borders on this. It's wide. Sorry. It's wider than the, than the aisle. Okay. So I hope you can see it, but super adorable. Really, really cute. So there's some of those left, which is kind of fun. And again, so you can see the pieces that go with it are. So this probably, I'm thinking that this is not in poppy cotton. Is no, it? it's probably, if it's Mulberry, Mulberry Lane. Okay, yeah. I'll put it up in the what's new for you guys. Okay. Mulberry Lane is right there. And if there's anything that you guys see that you can't find yeah, online, do a screenshot and circle screenshot, it. Screenshot, take a picture with your phone, and then send it to us. This is all that's left of the Jay's Bouquet fabric. We ordered uh, this collection and then reordered it since it was a block of the month. So we ended up with two, and this is, I mean, repeat, and this is all that's left. This is the pattern that we've been working on. The pattern is, I think, kind of, people talk about it being fairly spendy, but keep in mind that what's in here now is um, there's all 12 months full size color, two full size sheets for each month. So normally if you were paying $4 or $5 a month for the 12 months, I mean, that's what you're paying um, uh, all at once for your pattern. So that's why. Um, and there's a few of those left. And then one fat quarter packet left of that, which had nothing to do with uh, poppy cotton, but here, here is uh, more poppy cotton. And again, so here are the teals. And again, I'm just going to pick this up. See that little teal bird, blue bird? And see all of these colors? They just all go really, really... Let me look at that. They all just go really, really well together. Uh, and then this one, this was that piece that I really liked. Same thing, it's that same blue, that same green. And then there's more hearts and strawberries and... There was one piece that I saw down here that, oh yeah, I can't believe that this is still here. I don't know one. I just really love that. I know. And see, they just all totally go together. Super cute. And then there's a panel. smelly over here. <laughs> <laughs> you so stink. Stop hey, waving that tail. <laughs> and uh, Sushi has not chewed it up yet. She really wants the baby, though. Sume's in that box that you had sent us. There was a the little sunshine baby that talks when... She wants it bad. She's not gotten it. Okay, and again, this. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So, state, state flowers. flowers. Beautiful. Beautiful. And it's a big one. Okay. All right, I think that's it. All right, okay. we'll go back to the back and chat for a minute. Say bye, Lizzie. <laughs> I don't want you to play. Take it. Take it. Take oh, it. Little Take jazz it. <laughs> all right. Have a good day. Yeah. Good day. And uh, sorry, we all missed Tracy today. Yes. And uh, uh, we went and checked on Maisie. She was snapping. Yeah. So we didn't see her <laughs> either. So sorry. But you saw Maisie this morning. We did. In the little, yeah. Uh, at the end of Fabric Chat, we went and looked through the viewing well, window. Maisie. <laughs> Maisie Cam. <laughs> People are still asking for that, you know. I know. She's so Something cute. We could sell subscriptions. Have you log on? Yeah. <laughs> to see what she's doing. Just watch her. Visit yeah. with her. It's like watching the puffins. I know. <laughs> the eagle nest. The eagle nest. Yeah. I know. We need to that figure that out. Too. Somebody Maybe as soon as Anna starts, she can figure out how to do the live watch. Live game. Maisie Cam. <laughs> which I know sometimes that freaks you guys out. It's like, oh, you know, but we don't have those kind of creepy people that watch us. Mm -hmm. uh, we've so that's also why we know we, exactly where we live. We can also do it as a subscription. So, you know, you have to pay to see. <laughs> So, I don't know. We'll Not call that, it, we'll call it the Maisie College Fund. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. All, All right. right. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. And are they going to see yeah. other stuff this week? I don't know. Um, yeah, they're going to see Thursdays is our class. So I think it's, I think you're up this week. 
Very good. Um, for something for uh, Jay's bouquet. Very so good. So some more stitching in a block. And then next month, um, I think I have one more block, and then I think it's our finishing. So very good for color dance. So yeah, you'll see us every Thursday for a while. So. And then on to new things. Yes. No more blocks of the month, though. No, it's I think too hard. We're, we're bad. We are yeah. super, super, super busy, and it's like, mm -hmm. oh, no. Oh, no, we need to get that done. Well, so. you know what makes it hard, so on the behind the scene thing, is we have to make the whole quilt. Yeah. We have to make all 12 blocks, and mm -hmm. we have to put it together. Mm -hmm. Whereas if it's a demo, we just have to put enough of the blocks together so you guys can see how to put it together, and then it could just be a UFO for, you know, a rainy day. It doesn't have to be completed to complete the series. And people don't believe us that there are only five employees. It's just counting us. There's three <laughs> others. And I have kids that come three home. Three others. Work with me. And there's kids here. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. So the the individual lessons work a whole lot easier. Not saying that the lessons that we give you, you can turn into your own, you know, quilt block, you know, your own block of the month by just doing one block of it, each one we show you. So but yeah, that's the behind the scene thing is we'd have to finish it. And yeah. we're not for because the finishing, we're for the UFOs. No. <laughs> that's right. There there are dedicated um, YouTubers that that's all they do. Yeah. Is they do YouTube videos. And even them, I wonder how many videos they put out in a month. Yeah. You know, and for us, I mean, we have a busy shop. We have um, two retreat centers. Yeah. A third one soon. We. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. So yeah, classes on. work better. So we might not do block the months because it is just that the time it takes. Yeah, you guys yeah. are totally worth it, but it's a lot of sleepless nights. <laughs> All, right. All right, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.